this is Emily Ahern reporting for Scrap Review. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a layout using the Digital Scrapbook Artist software. One of the great things about the software is it comes with its own digital elements and papers and kits, but you can also upload any digital kits um, to this program and use them from any resource. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to do that. In my left hand toolbar, I'm going to click on the Add button and my computer is going to pop up this beautiful kit called DeLovely. It's available at oscraps.com and it's a collab kit with all of their designers. And I'm going to scroll down and just click on this green heart button and click open. And you'll notice that it appeared in my left hand toolbar is now ready to add to my layout. I'm just going to click on it and drag it into the layout and this is the way that I've built this layout so far um, with this craft paper and these other small papers. Um, and so this is as easy as it is. Now that you can see my button there that's on page, I'm going to show you how easy it is to resize an element in this software. You simply drag on the arrows and you'll notice that the width and the height in inches appears in a scalable view on the top of that thing, of the little highlighted bar. That's a wonderful resource to be able to know exactly how large the item that you're bringing in is going to be. The next thing I'm going to do is show you the scissors function in Digital Scrapbook Artist. I'm going to take this stripe pattern paper and drag it over right in front of my workspace. And I know you can't see it, the workspace anymore, but it's fine. It's going to be okay. You're just going to click on the scissors icon at the very top. And you'll notice there's a drop down menu that shows straight and square and wavy and pinking and a million different kind of scissor options. And I'm going to click on the bump option. And then you'll see how easy this is. I'm just going to hold down my mouse button and drag it straight along this uh, pattern paper. And now you'll notice that we can just click on this to remove unwanted area. And that did, clicked and undid my whole paper. So I'm just going to do that one more time. Um, there is an undo button with this software. So if you ever do something like that and make a mistake and think, oh, I don't even know what I did or where that went, you can always click on that button and it will take it right back to the previous step. So that is a great feature and that's something I need a lot. Now I'm going to go ahead and crop this down. So I'm going to go to the crop tool on the top and I'm going to drag this straight to make it a lot more shallow and then drag from the right hand side as well. And you'll notice it crops it easy as that. I want to flip these scallops so that the scallops are facing down and I'm going to click on the directional arrow on the side and rotate counterclockwise and click it twice so that it goes 180 degrees. Now with the select tool I can move this to the area that I wanted on my layout. I'm just going to put it along the bottom here. But now you'll notice that it's overlapping my photo on the right and I don't want that I want it behind. So I'm going to click on this easy button in the bottom right hand corner that says back one. Whatever element is highlighted you can move that back or forward as you please. So I'm going to just click on it a few times and each time it will move back another layer until it's behind my dot pattern paper and my photo as you can see there. Now I'm going to add a drop shadow to just highlight those scallops. Go up here to the top toolbar to the shadow tool and click on it. Then go to the opacity that appears and I'm going to drag it all the way to 100%. These other tools at the top, the Shear X, Shear Y, Scale X and Scale Y, um, depend on how far away you want the shadow and which direction you want it to face. All of that is easily controllable in this software and that's a really great benefit. Next I'm going to drag in a label and show you how easy it is to type in your journaling. I'm putting that label there and for sake of time I've already copied, like written, and then copied my journaling. So I'm just going to paste it into my document now. But you just type whatever you wanted and that's as easy as it is. If you click up here on this drop down menu that appears next to the text, you'll see all of the different um, fonts that are already installed in your computer. That is all done for you and you can even scroll through them and see exactly what the word that you typed is going to look like in a particular font. And that's a huge asset when you're digital scrapbooking and you want to get a certain feeling from a font. Now I'm just going to put that right over my label, easy as pie. The very last thing I'm going to show you is how to add stitches to your layout because this program is so easy with stitches. The stitches in this program are considered a brush. So I'm going to click on the brush tool at the top toolbar and then you'll notice that a drop down menu appeared and it's got all of your stitches in there as well as other brushes. And you can just go ahead and choose one. I'm going to choose this neutral. Um, brush and I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my layout and draw a squiggly line. The, one of the great things about this program is you can make the stitches follow any path that you create and that's something that's not available in general in Photoshop. 
Now my stitches are so tiny you can't even see them, so I'm going to scroll them up and make them even larger. And you'll notice now that they're on my page, but they're in the natural and I want them to stick out a little bit more. And so with this highlighted, I can scroll through any of these other stitch options and change the color and change what stitch it is. So I'm gonna click on the white and there it is right there on my layout. Now, even if I think that this curve was a little too curvy, which I do, you can just slide it in and change the depth of that curve that easy. So there you have it. There's our finished layout. It's got the journaling, the title, the stitches, the shadows, everything that you need. This digital scrapbook artist software is so user-friendly and so inexpensive that this is the TSR top pick for digital scrapbooking programs.